Father Vladimir and uh, welcome to yet another episode of our cooking show and today is the day three of our process of activating and rehydrating our kefir grains so if you remember we we are using this kefir grains from this wonderful cultures for health company and uh, 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 Julie if you are watching this video I really like your product and I would like to do some uh, uh, interesting things with you in terms of affiliate marketing so just keep that in mind anyway going back to uh, to the uh, kefir grains so day three um, the uh, milk consistency of milk didn't didn't change much it's still liquid it didn't didn't start to be um, to become like um, like kefir like uh, it's still liquid but the you can smell there's already like a little tiny hint of a um, sour smell to it which is not not something I'm getting excited about yet on um, day three I, I'm I'm estimating it will take another two days for this mil milk to start doing something, but um, as the instruction said, we just have to strain again the kefir grains. You can see them right there in that strainer, uh, and they, because they were dehydrated, um, they look um, a little kind of yellowish. That's how they look, but uh, you know, we just continue the process we're gonna put them into new milk and we will uh, repeat the process for another 24 hours cup of milk and uh, I'm making a mess until the consistency of milk changes we will repeat that every 24 hours will uh, drain the the grain and then we will uh, uh, add replace the, the cup of milk and once the consistency begins to change we'll be slowly adding adding more milk half, half a cup at a time until we reach, uh, you know, to the point when the entire, uh, what is it, the quart uh, container is uh, full of kefir. So uh, uh, I really encourage you to start doing, if you like kefir, especially if you are uh, using it a lot and drinking it a lot and buying it from the store, it's probably costing you an arm and a, and a leg. Uh, like an arm, arm and a leg, <laughs> whatever that that saying is, it can be very expensive. But uh, for the price of a gallon of milk, once you have um, kefir uh, grains going, you can, for the same price, you can uh, uh, can make kefir every day. Uh, you know, quart or a gallon of kefir, depending how how uh, how much you need. So. Uh, Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow uh, and hopefully there will be some something uh, going on with this milk. <laughs>